Hello everyone, we are here with a riddle. What exactly is Teraflop? Gaming specs explain, here's everything you need to know about Teraflops. A term thrown about a lot while talking about next gen, the Xbox Series X and the PS5. Whenever a new console or piece of tech is announced in gaming, there is a lot of technical terms that get thrown around with a little no explanation what they actually mean. Chief among those in recent year is Teraflop. A term that continuously appears trying to highlight the power of new console like the Xbox One X and now the Xbox Series X. But the question is, what actually are teraflops? The answer can get a bit technical, but there are still some basics to understand. It's also important to understand the implication this technical term has for the next gen, as it's something consumer will hear more and more of. In simple terms, teraflops or teflops are mathematical equations that measure computing power. Flops stand for floating point operation per second. Floating point operation are the calculation a computer need to do during a certain task like drawing polygon for graphics. Flops correspond to the number of calculation involving floating point number a computer can do in a second. And as you might expect, a higher number of flops means more computing power. Just like other units of measurement such as bytes for information, flops have multiple units, kiloflops, megaflops, gigaflops, teraflops, etc. So with that, a teraflops means 1 trillion calculation per second. Keep in mind, this is different from something like gigahertz, which measure a processor's clock speed. Instead, flops is more about the calculation that a processor can handle. Obviously, that all still sound a bit complex, but just keep in mind that teraflops correspond to the computing power of a computer or a system, but it doesn't necessarily mean that system is going to be all powerful. In the most basic sense, yes, higher teraflops do mean that game on the next gen console will have better graphics and performance, but it doesn't guarantee it. Microsoft announced that the Xbox Series X has 12 teraflops, double the 6 that the Xbox One X has. By comparison, the original Xbox One had 1.3 teraflops, while the PS4 Pro has 4.2. That doesn't mean the Series X is necessarily twice as powerful though, as more factor go into it. The system's core speed and processor's build will also factor into everything. In short, teraflop isn't something consumer will need to think about when jumping to the next gen console. While it's a sizable improvement, but it's not an ultimate measurement of a new system. Companies like to throw around teraflops as a term, but consumers don't need to think about the specification. Higher teraflops will help next-gen game as they try to use complex systems like ray tracing and the number do indeed show that the Xbox Series X and most likely the PS5 will be a quite bit more powerful than the current gen system. There are a lot of factors going into the Xbox Series X and PS5 and teraflop is just a small piece of the overall puzzle.